Hi guys. Wow. <laughs> and welcome back to Lotsy Channel. Boom. You see, I all got the roll that you see now. We're gonna have to. and it's literally um, what I'd say to my younger self. What would you say to your younger self, Carl? Ladies first. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be a gentleman. Um, I think we can just go back and forth a bit. Yeah, let's do it. Um, I'd say, one of the first things I'd say to my younger self is enjoy being your younger self. Enjoy being your younger self because I was in such a rush to grow up and growing up didn't have anything exciting. <laughs> Another thing I'd say to my young, younger self is um, don't lean on your knees and don't lean on your elbows because they'll go black. <laughs> <laughs> and wear your white shoes what? guys or your cords <laughs> and bunions. <laughs> what else did you tell your younger self? Um, I think don't slouch and <laughs> <laughs> and I, I mean physically, but also mentally. Mm. Don't slouch because, Hello. yeah, because I always think about it. So like, I've got a bit of a that, but I, I tend when I walk, I have my chest up. If I'm talking, it's got stuff. But more time, I, I'm fighting my norm, which is a posture which is slouched. And the reason why I have that is because I was always taller than everyone around me. So in order to not feel so, me too. You know. I would slouch in order to be everyone else's am I yeah. Everyone else's height. But I'm not everyone else's height. And people slouch in so many ways. So I would say to my younger self, they're gonna judge you anyway, mate. They are. <laughs> You're not gonna be happy. Listen, there's nothing you can do to make anybody happy, really. You know, and even if they are happy for a little bit, when you bring the next phase, they're not gonna be happy. So just shine, shine unapologetically and just don't slouch in anything. Another thing I say to my younger self is, it's just not that serious. Mm. Like, when I was young, I took, I thought everything was so serious. Like I was young and I'd be like, yeah, like I just felt like anything I go through, like when I have arguments with my friends in secondary school, I'd be like, this is the end of the world. I'm yeah. never gonna have friends. Or when I have a boyfriend in secondary school, I'd be like, this is the end of the world. I'm never gonna have a boyfriend. But it's just not that serious. Like half the people that you're probably with, you're not gonna even be with when you get older. It's so good. it's just not that serious. Like don't let it affect you. Don't let it feel like your world's literally crumbling because it's not. It's gonna get better. It's gonna get brighter. And that's just one stage of your life and one journey. So it's just not that serious. Yeah, it's that God works in mysterious ways. <laughs> like life is a mystery it's gonna remain a mystery you know you can't quantify everything you can't decode every part of it you know sometimes things just happen and you know what even the things you didn't want to happen when it ends up happening it's gonna make what you really really in your heart need to happen happen if that makes sense any sense so if I didn't just confuse my younger self <laughs> I'm basically saying that God works in mysterious ways and yeah just accept that you know yeah your parents aren't always trying to rain on your party parade mm. they're not always trying to like butt their nose in where they don't belong they have a lot of wisdom and years has given them that and they've also gone through what you've gone through although you look at them and think that they're like old and really aged and old they know a lot so a lot of the times listen you are going to bang your head sometimes and you are going to get it wrong a lot of times but it's okay to get it wrong like i said it's just not that serious it's okay to get it wrong as long as you're not doing things that are going to like really mess you up yeah like, <laughs> really mess you up like yeah, just be careful. Yeah, don't drink so much alcohol. <laughs> it wasn't good. <laughs> it's embarrassing. You embarrass yourself. <laughs> you embarrass yourself. That's real rap. Oh, um, what would I say to a younger self? This this thing's a marathon. That is, I think. 
that there. I don't know. <laughs> it's Joey cameos always. Um, <clears throat> I don't know whether life has taught me that. Like I would say the um the endurance challenges I do. Um, just anywhere I've wanted to get to, you know, any development in any way I've wanted to develop, develop, develop. <laughs> it's always taken time, you know, and. I think especially young people, we have this kind of um, idea that everything is instant and mm. it should be instant, you mm. know, like this microwave thing, like microwave food does not compare to anything you make from scratch, season overnight, you know, actually tease and treat properly, you know, so yeah man, just, just just know this thing's a marathon. Just also enjoy the times you have with your family. Stop wishing stop wishing the years away. Like I remember I couldn't wait to be 13 and I couldn't wait to be 16 and I couldn't be wait to be 18 and then I was 25. And it was like, yeah, just enjoy every single year and enjoy your family and enjoy the time that you get to spend with your family and those family moments because soon you're gonna have your own family and it's not going to be like that and all of those things are learning and teaching and also people pass away I didn't know mum was going to pass away so yeah love your mum more or tell my younger self yeah. like it literally spend more time with your family don't always want to be out but literally enjoy the moments where you're together the holidays that you're together the mm. trips away together that family time just enjoy family time and even when your sister or your brother is getting on your nerves know that eventually you guys are going to come together as a strong unit so love each other mm. I would tell my younger self you might as well get your tongue adjusted to healthy eating <laughs> honestly because all of those dirt in the box chicken and chips sagas and all of that choco and bueno this and Mr. Tom's and all of these fizzy drinks it just it just developing diseases Literally. on your insides and then you're going to find yourself powerless to contend with the advert of their facades yeah they are absolute liars it's not good for you it's not even like i had i heard a f no it's one it's actually my cousin and he used to be the um nutritionist for the chicago bulls and um he made this statement to me, he's really I'm health conscious and he was like, look, the moment you eat a food, yeah, and you put it in your mouth, once you taste it and it leaves that chamber of your mouth, it's now got a work to do for the whole body. It's actually entered your body to do something, to help your body be your body. So don't be so concerned about how it's tasting and what it's doing in there what it's doing throughout and I just wish I really got the revelation of that when I was maybe I don't know a lot younger because I wouldn't be fighting with the dark wolf telling me to always oh, eat this is a surface one right you can say whatever you want you sure yeah you surely sure Telling your younger self, you're telling your younger self something. <laughs> you gotta be, you can't be surface with your younger self. <laughs> yeah. Surface. Live in heck. Did the run right? <laughs> you should have gone left, run right. You know. Um. Literally, like, don't go to that party. You know. Don't. Don't go back to that estate. You know. Um, don't let him leave the house at that exact moment because when you told him later there would be no later um, that's sad yeah. um, probably just try your best <laughs> maybe travel places in London <laughs> Aye, okay. I can't. Travel more places in London. Actually, yeah, you see? Yeah, no, no you're Go onto to the something. Museums. No, you're onto something. No, definitely. Try and be more cultural. Yeah. Yeah. Find out more. Find out more. Learn, read. You see, that was actually one I was thinking about when you did say about doing the read. Like, I've already uncovered the joys of reading for fun as I got um, older. 
definitely younger self books are not just meant for the classroom I would tell my younger self not to not cry not to not cry yeah not to not cry you know um, I've, I've realised the value of tears as I've gotten older and when I was younger I made a silly pact with myself it Especially felt right now. yeah it felt right then you know and I didn't cry for like 8 years and as a result of it it's a lot of kind of undealt things that I had to then deal with later you know so you don't get to escape really if you really want to move on for real you know so crying there's nothing wrong with crying I, I love crying now you know <laughs> I think Cass still thinks it's odd if she even knows that I, I cried or something but I actually when you haven't cried for eight nine years and yeah, because I cried I so love much. it I love it I, I love yourself love everything about yourself it only gets worse <laughs> your brow only gets saggier your bum only gets more dark pimples in it your hair only drops out more and gets <laughs> grey so love, your, like, love yourself I agree your skin only get like just love yourself because your younger self your teeth only get yellower yeah. love them when you're right <laughs> coffee comes in yeah like to just enjoy everything about yourself That's when you're true. young it's true it's an amazing thing love the fact that you don't have to pay bills stop oh, trying to wow. wish your feet like you don't pay bills. Your mum pays your bills. Your mum yeah. worries about what you eat. You don't worry about what you eat. That's the, yeah, just enjoy being billless. Yeah. Don't worry so much about what you're bad, you're bad at. Worry about more about what you're good at. Mm. And the things that you're bad at, yeah, the things that you're good at, make that a 10. Yeah, yes. so if you're a five, make it a 10. Yeah, just work on what you're really good at. Don't let what people do change you. You know, that, that one there for me would be huge. I'll tell younger huge. self that offences are gonna come but the, the, the aim of the game yeah the winner is the one that keeps their innocence there else save set blimineck i was gonna say the the other that one word. listen save yeah younger self save yeah save save it's not only what poor people do <laughs> yeah save let the arrogance come in later yeah save. The last thing you'd say to your younger self? I think I'll tell my younger self um, that what's yours is yours, you know? And I don't say that in a way of being like, I don't believe, if you know me, I'm the most proactive in terms of, I, I don't believe in a, a passive success. I, don't, I feel as if success needs us for it to happen you know but in regards to what is yours is yours like just no one can be you you know no one can do exactly what you can do you know I believe that there is a path that God has set you know and you have the red carpet privilege on that path you know and I believe if it is yours and you do what you need to do in each season and even if you don't do what you need to do in each season in the next season if you make up for it by his grace you're going to still be where you need to be so don't feel as if you need to um look at what your neighbor's doing really or yeah just yeah just be you and it, it, will, it will work out i think it ties into that god works in mysterious ways also you know just yeah things have a way of working themselves out when you don't work yourself out too much you know just trust and work and the last thing I think I'll say to my younger self is you are loved, you are beautiful, you are special. There's no one in this whole world that can be anything like you. Take everything that you're learning, just bask in it, enjoy it. And everything's not going to be great because everything's not always great, but you're learning, you're growing. And any bad situation that you're going through is just you're going through it. It's just a season. Don't worry about it. Things are going to get better. And you deserve to be loved. Most importantly, you deserve to be loved. You don't deserve anything less. So anything less is not for you. Boom. Stay Boom. loved. In. Stay happy. Come on. Stay happy. You're going to be me. Stay what happy. the heck, younger self? See you later. Yeah. <laughs>